Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having wonderful weather and a wonderful week. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this shoe. I'm calling it the Bayhive shoe because it's in honor of Beyonce and her on the run tour. And then she just released an album a couple of days ago with her husband, Jay-Z, called Everything is Love. So I thought this was the perfect time to release this. It's a shoe and I put little Swarovski crystal beads on it in honor of her fans. So if you're looking for something unique to make and wear to our concert or to an after party or just to show your love, I think this is perfect. If you'd like to see what I use to get this look, stay tuned and I will show you. For this project, I used Swarovski crystals. I used these bee stickers, E6000 glue, and these black pumps. For the Swarovski crystals, the colors that I used were crystal clear, and this is size 9SS, jet hematite, this is size 5SS, and sunflower, which is also size 5SS. I also used black halfback beads in 7mm, 5mm, and 4mm. My first step is to place the bee stickers where I'd like on the shoe. Make sure you're working with a clean surface. The bee sticker serves as a guide, so for this I just put one bee sticker, but obviously I'm going to be covering the entire shoe. And once I've placed the bee sticker, I am going to place the crystals on top in coordinating colors to create the bee look. So I'm going to get started with that and I'll show you what it looks like in just a moment. This is how the bee turned out now that the crystals have been added. It's not perfectly like a bee, but I think that you can definitely get the idea. These are the wings, this is the body. And I usually don't show myself adding crystals or beads to shoes because I like my videos to be short. But if that is something that you wanna see, please let me know and I will definitely show you how I do it in a future video. But for now, I'm gonna add stickers in a couple more places and add crystals to those and show you what that looks like. This is what the shoe looks like now that all of the bees have been added. And now I'm gonna get ready to add the beads. Hi, so I'm just checking in to show you the progress on the shoe. At the bottom of the shoe and all around, I've added 5 mm beads. And then at the top, I've added 4 mm's. I added a B here and I added a B in the back. And then on this side, I've actually started the actual beading of the shoe with the black beads. What I love about the beading is that it adds a lot of texture and context to the shoe. And I just love how it makes the actual bumblebees pop. So I'm gonna keep going and let you know how it looks, but I did wanna show you the progress. This is how the heel turned out. I had originally said I was going to work on the back of the shoe first, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough 4mm beads to use. The heel took a, just under 300 of the 4mm beads to complete just the front part of the heel. So my final step is filling out the back of the shoe with the beads and then I'll be done. So I'll show you what that looks like as soon as I finish. So I wanted to show you something really quickly. In order to make sure that your shoe is steady and that your beads don't end up underneath the heel of your shoe, just put a line of glue as the shoe is sitting flat on a surface and then bead that line and then you can turn the shoe up, upside down and bead it from there. And this is just another example of what I was talking about. So I added a line of beads here and this row is from what I said before where I just put the glue on a line and then I know that if I go above this, the shoe is not gonna be balanced, everything below this can be beaded. And so that just gives it a nice clean look and then I just started beading around the bee first just to make sure that this is covered adequately and with the right beads and then I'm gonna fill in the rest of this space. This is the final result. I love how it turned out. I love the Swarovski crystal bees. And this was fairly easy to make, especially using the stickers as a guide. Um, I think anyone can do it. And you can also use this concept on a handbag. 
You could use it with different, you could use it with a lemon if you want, but it's just really pretty. So I hope that you like this. I hope that some of you choose to make this and maybe wear it out. Um, but most of all, I'm really happy that you decided to watch my video. So I hope you have a really great week. I hope you're enjoying some really good weather and I will see you next time.